my darlings. So today we're going to have another serious discussion. This one's on mental health, just in whole. And I know that's a pretty broad subject to cover. So hopefully I'm able to answer all of your topics, questions, concerns, everything like that, because you're obviously watching this video, so you have something to think on it. So, as I said, mental health is a very broad spectrum. There's multiple different ways to be diagnosed with mental health illness, with any type of mental disability, or even just a disorder, like depression. But overall, mental health doesn't just cover disabilities or issues that you're having. It covers everyone. Everyone has a sense of mental health. And although it might not necessarily pertain to, oh, I have bipolarity, depression, ADD, anything like that, everyone has their own level of mental health. It's all of our responsibilities to help keep ourselves emotionally and mentally healthy. Now, that isn't to say that people who have disabilities, who are diagnosed with depression, bipolarity, um, anger management, any type of psychosis, um, you name it. <laughs> That's not to say that they can control it. I have been diagnosed for depression or with depression since I was a teen. And when I turned of age, I didn't have insurance, so I went off my medication. At first it wasn't too bad. But it quickly went downhill. Now, I'm not saying that it went completely downhill. I didn't hit rock bottom. But it was a struggle. It was a struggle for many years, actually. And although I was able to emotionally control some of it, just with sheer willpower and mental strength and exercise alone, I couldn't get rid of it. It wasn't until I got insurance again that I was finally able to see a doctor and put back on the medication I desperately needed. I'm still on that medication and I'm not ashamed to say that. It's something I need and although I could help control it, I can't cure it. It is a disability. It's a disease, just like many others, but it can be treated. There are some that can be treated with medications, with therapy, even homeopathic methods. And if you have anything that can be treated, please get it treated. I know that it can be tricky, that sometimes the medication will have negative side effects and they'll have to switch you a couple times before they find the one that's right for you. I know that it's scary thinking what if I'm not myself while I'm taking these pills? I went through that too, and I realized that who I am is my own choice. I choose to be the happier person that I am, even when I'm on the pills. There are much more serious illnesses out there, such as a uh, paranoid schizophrenia and yeah that's a pretty serious one actually there are a lot of homeless people around Portland that have mental illnesses and I feel for them it would be difficult living with people with mental illness with any type of mental disability actually whether it's Alzheimer's even just forgetting a lot can be a hassle sometimes. But remember to be patient with them. Now, aside from mental illness, let's touch on mental health. 
mental health as a whole, assuming that you don't have a mental illness already pre-diagnosed. Yes, there are times that people get angry, and how you deal with it is in your power. Same thing with getting sad or jealous. Stress is a disease that most people don't acknowledge as a disease. Everyone has stress, but you have to learn how to deal with it and to control it. Because if you let it just spiral out into chaos, then you're never going to get anywhere. Stressing about something is not really going to help you. Why get upset over something you have no control over? And if you do have control over it, then do something about it. Do something within your power, because that's all that can be asked of you. If you are having feelings that aren't what you would consider comfortable, if you're feeling disconnected, sad for no real apparent reason, if you're getting angry for no reason, or you find yourself snapping at your loved ones, if you just feel empty, I've been there. If you just feel like you'd like to just curl up and die and you don't know why, you might need to see a doctor. There's a good chance that whatever hormone balance is going on in your brain has probably triggered something that could be a mental disability or a mental illness, should I say, not really a disability. A disability is completely different from an illness, so I apologize if I've accidentally interchanged those two in this conversation. It doesn't hurt to see a doctor. The doctor will be able to listen to your complaints and your concerns, and they'll be able to make an educated guess. Aside from that, it's important to stay healthy in order to maintain your mental health. Eat well, exercise, drink water, read, think. I know it's easy to just get swept up in everyday guff and stare at the TV for hours or even like me, play video games for hours, but you need to channel your creative side. You need to keep physically fit, even if it's not track star fit. You can't just let your body decompose under you because that will affect your brain. You need a balanced meal every so often and not just fast food because that will also affect your mind. You are what you eat and if you're not eating the right stuff, you're probably not seeing the benefits as far as a sharp mind, intelligence, I've kind of gotten off topic, but overall, mental health is just as important as physical health. And sometimes people are born with differences that make them dangerous, more prone to issues. But with all the medical benefits out there now, there's no reason that you can't get help. At least seek it. There's multiple websites online that are specifically made to help diagnose, assist, treat, even give advice on mental health or mental illness. There's different ways of relaxation, hobbies, meditation, tai chi, which isn't quite meditation, but close. Um, I personally love hobbies. I unwind playing video games. And I enjoy reading sometimes. Yeah, I still get depressed, if that's what you're wondering. Medication isn't a cure-all. You have to make an effort. And if it's something that's 
anger management or depression, anything like that, you still have to make an effort to control yourself and to react accordingly. You're still responsible, even if it's not easy for you to do. So, if you guys have any questions, if I, I know I rambled a lot on this one, um, it's been a long day. But if you guys have any questions, if there's anything you want to request, um, if there's anything you want me to elaborate on, mm -hmm. then let me know. Um, if there's any topics you'd like me to cover for uh, serious talks, or if you have a specific issue that you'd like to address to me on an anonymous level, then send me a message and I can make video on it and not mention you. And hopefully that'll help you and other people having your problem. So thank you for joining me. And I hope that this hasn't just been me rambling for like 10 minutes. So I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Bear. I'm Silvermore. And thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, why not like, comment, or subscribe by clicking the button to the bottom of this video. Or you can check out our other social media sites in the description below or on this beautifully illustrated picture that Bear drew. So we'd like to give you guys thanks for everything. Uh, and if you like what you saw, try looking at some of the other videos. Always open to suggestions, so feel free to let us know if there's anything you'd like to see us play. Thank you for joining us again, and we will see you on the next episode. Mwah. Bye, babies.